zombie literally didn't touch me. Now there's an item in that chest right there. Well, crate. That's the weapon you normally get from the very first boss, if you can beat him at the first encounter. It's the weapon he uses. It's a very, very big hammer. Pretty much worthless, though, because the strength required for it and how slow the weapon is. Let's go say hi to Solaire. Hello, Solaire. Whoa, check out your helmet. Ah, hello. I am Solaire of Astora. Yep, I'll, I'll praise that sun. Gotta go join the Covenant first, though. The way? All right. Now I can be summoned, at least in theory. Last time I tried using it, I didn't get summoned, so I guess there's not a lot of people playing right now. Oh, hello there. The phone. Okay. Now there is a shortcut to the bonfire in the middle of this bridge. I need to open up, and then I need to get past the Drake. No, the on the randomizer kind of just manipulates the locations in my game. So if I was playing with somebody online, nothing is hacked. All of the items are still the same items in game. It's just where you would find them is the part that's different. There are some mods that are like Watchdog, where if somebody is trying to hack their game to, let's say, put an ability on a sword that that sword should not have, like the sword inflicts curse or something like that, it would you know, send up a flare in your game, like, hey, somebody is, is is playing with hacks, essentially. But um, there's plenty of mods that are on the web for Dark Souls to just kind of enhance different things. Most mods are purely cosmetic, so in your world you would see a difference. For instance, you can change one of the shields to look like the Hylian Crest from The Legend of Zelda, but it would only look like that on your world. Anybody else's world, it would just look like a regular shield, unless they also had that mod installed. So, no, the, the randomizer, all it does is just give me a unique challenge, but anybody who, like, invaded my world or joined me in co-op, they would just see me dressed as a crazy person. Because even the NPCs, whenever you are in someone else's world, they just look like little ghosts. Like, they don't, you won't even see their crazy items or anything. So, no, it's, it's pretty family-friendly. Or co-op-friendly. And there goes the dragon. So now I can grab these items in peace. Oh, armor of the sun. Nice, I can be Solaire. Man, this guy won't die. There he goes. How is he still alive? Now stay dead this time. Okay. So my immediate goal is almost always to join the Brotherhood of Sunlight, or the Sunlight Covenant, or the Sun Bros. But I probably won't have the faith required. Not even close. Yeah, I need ten more faith. And this will be interesting because I don't have a bow. Normally I snipe the little... Drawbridge gate closer to keep him from blocking you off from the next area. You actually can, if you're careful enough, run past the pig and get to the next area before he closes, closes the gate on you. But I'm going to try to draw the pig's attention. Oh, instead I got that other... Come on. Nope. Ugh. Nika. Yeah, see, he started running, and that means it's already too late. So he's already going to close the drawbridge. 
Yeah, I normally have the, uh, there it goes. I normally have the bow so I can try to bait him out, but didn't have it that time. Uh, why did that not run him over? I feel cheated. Guess that answers that question. Colonoscopy time. It's a little tricky to pull off a backstab on him, but if you can, it does a lot of damage. his little trap. Anybody else? Dragon Tooth. That's actually the weapon that Havel the Rock uses. It requires a strength of 40. And again, even though it's very powerful, it's very slow. It's kind of the nice thing about the sword I'm using now is it it's like a mid-range, where it's longer than a short sword, but it's very fast. So you can kind of get quick pokes attacks in.
next stab. Ooh, some demon titanite. And what was he guarding? Fall control. I've never really found a good use for that. I've definitely fallen to my death plenty of times, but I never know what areas you can survive if you use that first. Actually, I haven't done a lot of experimenting with sorcery. That's a pretty new category for me. Usually when I deal with magic, I just stick with miracles. Alright, now there's a guy on my right and a guy on my left. Whoever wants to fight me, just pick a side. We have a volunteer. Yeah, I'm not going to try to fight both you guys at the same time, so someone's going to have to volunteer. There we go. I have the high ground, Annie. It's over. Get out of my tunnel. There we go. There was not enough space in there. Okay, I've only got one or two more enemies left in the way. I was worried about that guy sneaking up behind me, but he didn't come, so got lucky there. Yeah, that's one of the items that was being sold for like a hundred thousand or five hundred thousand souls, so glad I didn't have to buy that one. Let's see what we have sitting over here. Soul of a hero. Definitely can use that to level up. We could fence if we want to. Oh, what? You should not have been able to reach me. Here. I'm drinking Estus. Right in your face. Yeah, that's his do not attack him pose. Unless you want to do this. I've missed. Hey, you all your friends are dead. Okay, before I try to tangle with anybody in there, let's go to Andre.
Oh, I got another soft humanity. That'll be nice for this next boss fight. Though I still haven't found the strange key to free the prisoner. At least I'll be able to get Solaire on the boss fight. souls do I need to level up? So I can level up twice. Nope, just once. Just short of two times. But I did pick up some souls. Let's pop some of those. Still a little shy. Well, before I do that, then let's go see what Andre is selling. He might have something I need. Mm -hmm. 